How's it going guys? Kyle here with Newegg TV, here to give you all another unboxing and overview of this video card from Gigabyte. This is the GeForce GTX 650 Ti Overclock Edition. So from the box we can see that this card does come equipped with Gigabyte's very own Windforce cooler. It's been very highly acclaimed with all the uh, GeForce GTX cards so far. And uh, this is the factory overclocked edition, so it does come overclocked right out of the box. This also does come with 2 gigs of DDR5 memory, and uh, once again, this is a 650 Ti. And uh, take a look at the back here, some useful information, unless you can only read English. And uh, we have a very simple diagram up here demonstrating just how the Windforce cooler works. You've got some aluminum fins here with a copper pipe running through it, actually two copper pipes running through it, and uh, that's going to absorb the heat, and then the two fans up top are going to do the job of pushing air downward onto those fins and dispersing the heat, carrying it away from the card. Let's uh, take a look inside. Aside from the card itself, which we'll get more into in just a sec, you have a quick start guide for setting up your card quickly, and uh, you also have a driver CV. Um, it's always best to go to the manufacturer website to ensure that you have the latest drivers to make sure that uh, everything's compatible. And last but not least, you have this PCIe power connector to two Molex. Just in case your power supply doesn't have any more PCIe connectors, you can still power your card with this adapter. All right, so with my measuring stick out, you can see this card measures at about nine and a quarter inches. Uh, it's pretty much right on the money. And uh, this card does come factory overclocked. Uh, so right out of the box, you'll see that it has a clock speed of 1033 megahertz. And uh, once again, it does feature two gigs of DDR5 memory. With that said, let's move on to the cooler itself. We've got two 100 millimeter fans here being held nicely in place by this black shroud. And uh, if you can notice part of the shroud that's behind the fans kind of makes a Y shape on both sides. Uh, it's extremely thin. And what that does is that it, it exposes more of the aluminum fin surface area. So that in turn allows for more airflow to be passed over those fins, which results in more optimal cooling and lower temperatures, which we all know is a good thing. Down here is your PCI Gen 3 connector, and it is backwards compatible with PCI Gen 2 and 2.1. So uh, don't freak out. Don't worry if you don't have a motherboard that supports PCI Gen 3. This card will work perfectly fine with it. On this side here, you can see we have two 6 millimeter copper heat pipes which run completely through the aluminum fins here. So it's going to be absorbing all of the hot air that's, uh, I'm sorry, all of the heat that's dissipated from the GPU. And that in turn will be dispersed from the two fans right here all throughout the card. We have a single 6 pin PCI Express uh, power connector there. And we did do a power test on this card and found a max power draw of 170 watts under full load. If you notice the, the shroud here, the black shroud, it, it isn't really much of a shroud at all. It's kind of more of just a frame that holds the fans in place, but it doesn't really enclose the card. So what that means is that all the hot air that's dispersed from this card isn't necessarily just going to be ejected out the back, but it's going to be dispersed from all sides of the card. Uh, it's not necessarily a good or bad thing. You just have to keep that in mind when configuring the airflow in your case. With that said, let's take a look at the top here. You can see we have a very short and very blue PCB with some memory modules that you can see. And then we have another black frame made of plastic uh, that extends beyond the PCB with a massive cutout. And what that massive cutout is going to allow for is the, uh, the back fan here can now push air completely through these aluminum fins so that hot air doesn't get bunched up from within the card. And that in turn should optimize your thermal dissipation. And last but not least, we have your video outs here. We've got some ventilation slits right here. And then you've got your VGA, HDMI, and two dual-link DVI outs. And now let's look at some benchmarks.
to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 650 Ti Overclock Edition. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.